All right. I believe you, but my Tommy gun don't. Hello, neighbors. It's Crazy Double D with HD Gaming Live here with hashtag Throwback Thursday. And we're here. This game is Need for Speed Pro Street, or as I like to call it, the precursor, the prequel to Need for Speed Shift. This was the first big breakthrough into sim racing for the Need for Speed series. And uh, it did not rub the community that well. I remember it had a lot of controversy when it first came out. Um, people wanted, I mean, this was closed track racing. It was an open world. There were no cops. Uh, it was, and the, no, the driving mechanics weren't that, they're pretty stiff too. It's hard to explain. We'll get into it right now. We'll, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. There's no EA Nation on this, so I don't want to. So we can do, we can just, whoa, look at this. So there's drift, there's drag, there's regular grip, which is, you know, just regular old racing. Uh, tons of awesome track. Like the tracks are really cool, I will say. I was blown away actually by how cool the tracks were. Uh, Solo. The car customization is actually pretty good. Uh, a lot of people don't say it's that good, but I think it's good. It has a good amount of cars. I don't know the exact number, uh, but they also came out with some booster packs, which had some. Uh, I think on the disc there was 55, and then DLC added about 20. So that's a good amount of cars for this first. And, and then look at this. They have matte. They have matte coloring, and that is one of my favorite colors. So uh, that's what I'm all about, man. One of the reasons I'm not a big Forza fan is because they didn't have matte. Like, look at how cool that car looks. It's the old school look, man. We're going to go with this G35 because, damn. Oh, yeah. So it has uh, drag, which if you see here, this, this Civic is a front-wheel drive car. And you can front-wheel drag. Look at that tire on that thing. That is dope. I mean, these are just classic. That Cobalt's a front-wheel drive. Golf is too. Why are these all front wheels? I don't know why they're all front wheels. That's wild. But that looks like a pretty cool car. We'll go with that. There is drifting in this game. I'm not good at it at all, but I'll show you it just for fun. Ooh, this. God. It's one of my favorite cars in the game, is the 350. Corvettes are dumb. We go old school. I don't want to. But yeah, as you can see, there's a ton. This. I know personally one of my friends could not stand this game because they are hardcore to the bone. This is not need for speed, he kept telling me. And I was like, okay, whatever, I don't care. This is this is what it is to me. I'm having a blast with the game. The one of the huge gripes I have about this game is the announcer. You will want to stab You'll want to find him first in the race day and then stab him with every ounce of hate in your soul. See, look at this. So you have these race days here and you can, uh, if your car gets wrecked, you can go and repair it. If you don't, it'll be all jacked up. But look at all the people walking, hello, cool. Luckily, they don't have the DJ going, hey, dude, coming out, holy hey there, yeah, hold on. And it's really horrible. So let's get into racing so you can see the gameplay because it's all about gameplay. I had a blast with this game. The mechanics were, uh, it was, they're pretty stiff. It does, it feels more like you're driving on a line and you kind of switch to different lines. And it's not, you can't really, there's no suspension if that makes sense. The music is atrocious. Uh, they were all excited about, like they have this really cool soundtrack and it's balls, every bit of it. Look at the smoke too. They they created a new smoke engine just for this game. See how people are kind of like Meh, they're back and forth, and the game does a lot better without all the ass whoa jeez, without all the assists on, and it doesn't have an in cab view, which kind of sucks. But I mean, you can put on the brake there. This car doesn't have enough power to really uh, really get the car sideways. 
Yeah, and the music, if you can hear the music, oh my gosh, it's horrible. And the AI isn't that bad, to be honest. Look at the smoke coming out of this thing. It's so awesome. And so you would think, oh man, the graphics aren't that bad. For the time this came out, 2007, these graphics were actually really good. I mean, you had like fours at three at that time, which was awesome, and that was the pinnacle. And this was right behind it. This wasn't bad at all. And notice how it has the driving lines. That's what pissed a lot of Need for Speeders off. Oh, oh I hit that hard. Because they were like, I don't want driving lines. I don't want a sim. And even though the physics aren't that sim, they still have those there, I guess, to help you learn the track or something. I don't know, man. Oh, God. Let's see. How do I switch views again? There we go. I like hood view, but it's a weird hood view. Like... Isn't that off to the side and you can't... Whoa, I caused some damage. Sorry, guys. Oh, get out of here! Buddy, you just slammed me. So you're looking at these graphics and you're looking at the cool smoke and the flames coming out of the exhaust pipe and you're like, this is great. I want to see a race. After I do it, I want to see what it looks like. No replays in the game. Zero replays, which for a racing game, for me... You need, you need replays. Like, I'm going to throw that. Oh, oh. I was going to try to get sideways. Yes, I know I'm bad. It's hard to talk and think about what you're saying and come up with stats and crap in your head while driving. I can't do it, especially when they're bumping into you. Get out of here, buddy. Look how cool the smoke is. See, you can take cool screenshots, photo mode. But no, you can't. You can't go and watch a replay, which sucks, because I love replays. I'm not going to show you the drift, but I'll show you the drag, because that's what really appealed to a lot of the racers, was, was, the, was the drag races. And I'm so bummed we have to do it with an eclipse. It's stupid. Oh, well. Story mode is plenty long, which is good. Oh, see, look at that matte hood with the gloss front end, dude. Gloss bumper. Okay, now you do these burnouts. Now watch this. And you have to try to get, look at the smoke. You have to try to get perfectly in that green so you can up your grip. And trust me, it does make a difference. Look at that smoke just come out. And then you shift with the right stick. And when it gets up, in the, and you can turn. What's up, dude? Oh, and then there's Nos. I don't remember. There it is. In your face. Hit the Nos and you're gone. You know, you know, yeah. And see, this music sucks. It's horrible. You have to hear this after every single drag race. And you have like six of these in one. So, annoying. The game's main problem is it's annoying. The driving, once you get used to the physics, is fun but you have to be willing to give it a chance. The, custom, the car customization is glorious. The, the what, what you can do to make the car look cool is, is awesome. It's easy, it doesn't take a lot of time, uh, and you have an awesome car. Unlike Forza, you gotta do it really long time and you know put a lot of work into it. Oh, fudge, I thought I jumped it. So now I'm going slow. There's all different kinds of races on all different types of tracks and environment, and they're all fun. I mean, oh, that was close, dude. What? Yeah. Oh, you beat me. Balls. I was going way faster than him too. Oh well, but yeah. That I mean, that is that is Need for Speed Pro Street, the prequel to the Shift series, and what this game brought up about the 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 shift series and if you don't like them then I'm sorry this game was ever made but I like look it I'm on fire fire bye 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 I hate this song man I hate this song but uh, you can go on Amazon find this sucker for brand new in the box sealed you can find it for twenty bucks dude and used without a box and out anything you can find it for like five bucks so that any any price between five and twenty bucks you can get it bud so have fun with it neighbors peace out